Over the past 20 years, the rates of diabetes in the United States have nearly doubled. More than 26 million Americans have been diagnosed with diabetes. And that's not the worst news. Over 79 million people have been diagnosed with prediabetes, a condition also known as borderline diabetes. By 2050, the CDC estimates that one out of three people will have diabetes. The human toll is staggering. I was just dumbfounded that I found that the doctor told me I was a diabetic because he went through all my blood work before. Every year he goes through my blood work and all of a sudden it comes up that I'm a diabetic too. My mother had it and my sisters have it. And his mother had it. And I think one of his sisters have it also. So we were pretty sure that something was going on. So it wasn't a shock, but it was unnerving. I was diagnosed with uh, prediabetes about three hours before they performed surgery on me. They came up and told me, that, geez, Paul, do you realize you're diabetic? And I said, no, I didn't, uh, So, but thanks for heaping that on. I was, I was shocked, but I wasn't, you know, got to find out how to get my sugar down, and that's what we come here for. It's uh, life-changing. We went to the doctor and found out that we were pre-diabetics, so they sent us out a paper, and we joined the YMCA with their diabetic class. In 2008, the New York State Health Foundation launched a $35 million campaign to help reverse this epidemic. We tackled this challenge because we knew that there were solutions that could actually make a difference. There are programs like the Diabetes Prevention Program that have been known to work. It's a 16-week intervention that helps people modify their lifestyle behaviors, helping them to eat healthy, exercise, and manage things like stress. So we took on this challenge because we knew that there were programs that actually can make a difference in the lives of people. We partnered with the YMCA of New York State and we took this program to places like Buffalo, New York, where over 10% of the people have diabetes and where 60% of the people are overweight or obese. We joined the class and from then on everything's been wonderful for us, really. My sugar has been down, everything's great. I really enjoy the little booklets of keeping up your meals because now I know when I go over and I can look back and see what I did wrong. Probably by week four, it takes you a little bit of time, but once you're into it, you realize that it is a life change and something that I needed. It was surprising, the, the additives that are in foods, the, the portions that we're eating that are just so bad for us. I mean, it also helped me keep up with my exercise time. I've learned, we've both learned how to eat better and how to take better care of ourselves just for the life we do have that it's going to be good. We know that this program works because we've seen participants reduce their weight by 5 to 7 percent and that reduction in weight actually helps to reduce the risk of diabetes by more than half. I was overweight um, before I started the program but I still am a little bit but I'm coming down very very well now because with the program I watch my diet better. Every week, I always would hurry up and see what I weighed on the scale when we got here. And every week I kept going down and down and down, and I enjoyed that, and I said, well, we just gotta keep pushing it more and more. Well, since I did the program, I'm down 30 pounds. I'm looking to do another 20, but my blood works better, my cholesterol's lower, my blood pressure's lower. Dog loves it, she goes out for a walk every day now with me. Partnering with the YMCA to deliver this DPP program can help to save millions of lives and millions of healthcare dollars. It's important because when you get to my age, your habits are so indwelled into you. And if you don't get somebody to show you the change and that it's worth it, then you'll be doing the same thing over and over again. But by taking the program, I know that the changes were beneficial to me. Get to the Y and do the diabetic program if you're a diabetic, because it really helps, really helps. We know tackling this epidemic will be an uphill battle. We know that it will require social, cultural, and environmental changes. We also know that there are programs that work, programs like the Diabetes Prevention Program that help people make the lifestyle changes they need that will help save their lives. What we need to do next is make this program available across the state of New York. We need to build capacity in places where people live, where they work, and where they worship. We need to get more YMCAs, more churches, and more work sites to actually make this program available for the people who need it most. 
We know that it will require health insurers to come on board and support this program, and employers to be supportive to support this program, but we know we can do something, and it needs to start today.